Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is Rick90. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am happy to announce this to you. Well, I, I don't think it's a surprise because if you're a big Farming Simulator 17 fan, you've heard about the Platinum Edition. So, of course, you have a new crop all the way over here. This will be Sugarcane. This is so exciting. You can pre-order on their website, so that is really awesome. Let's take a look at some of these things. First of all, it is $19.99, $20, 20 US dollars. You can pay PayPal, all this good stuff. But of course, you want to know what is included. Well, it's a Spanish hacienda type, uh, I would even say Cuban, like, uh, I don't know, socialist type Cuban atmosphere. And so um, right here, uh, even though Cuba is not in South America, I know that. I know my geography pretty well. It's one of my the small talents but anyway look at this this is um i believe this is a harvester but this is really really cool it probably also i mean it's either a harvester or it picks up piles of the sugar and just dumps it in here kind of like the collector for the sugar beets and these are just some of the awesome types of equipment that we're going to be able to get look at this these are sprayers of course the spider looking sprayers as i call them this is a great little implement great little machine and of course the uh, sugar stuff. So there will be vehicles and tools, they're not announced yet, of the Case IH, the Star, the TT, the FMZ, the Gesner Industries, and more. And of course all these languages, I won't read them all. The DLC is compatible with Steam and so forth. It's called Estancia La Pacho, which it's kind of funny. I don't even think that has a translation. I'm a Spanish speaker and I don't really think that has like a direct translation that I know of at least. Look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful land. What is great is that we have trains. We definitely have running trains, not like Sosnovka, which I think should have running trains. But anyway, you see a bit of a, a silo here to hold any type of grain or maybe even equipment. You have these silos for grain, most likely. And you have your little hacienda here, which means your house, your little country home. If we go to the next shot here, we have some cows. Now look, the cows look different in my opinion. They look more like Spanish cows. They don't look like the cows that we're used to, you know, American cows. So this is really good. They've got this lump up here. I'm not an animal expert, so I don't know the difference, but they definitely look different. Look at this. Of course, we have the city town, the city square, as we can see. And of course, look at this. We have a nice little bridge. We have some cranes. I don't think we'll be able to use them, or maybe, maybe this will help the train unload and upload things. We have little boats, which of course are for just aesthetic stuff. Little chairs here, nice detail. We have some water towers there, one. And then look at this, cranes. Uh, I don't, this could be a track, but I'm not sure. It doesn't really look like it, but I love the aesthetic here. Very, very nice. You have uh, Massey Ferguson over here, 95 horsepower, 40 kilometers tractor. Very, very nice here. We also look at a Stara. I don't think Star was in the game previously. 105 horsepower, 30 kilometers per hour. We also have, uh, we had one of these before, but I, this is the Stara type, and so it's a little different. 220 horsepower, 27 meters in length, 5,100 liters of fertilizer. It's a sprayer. And then we have something coming soon that they will not tell us about. It's supposedly a vehicle, and I don't know. I don't know what it's going to be. Harvesters, we have three, so I was right. This is a sugarcane harvester. Before we get to that, let's look at this. This is a Bison Super Z056 from FMZ. It's an old little harvester, 100 horsepower, 20 kilometers an hour, 35, 40 liters. The FMZ header for this, of course, pretty simple, 4.2 meters, but this baby is awesome. It's a Case IH. A8800 multi row sugarcane harvester, 350 horsepower, 10 kilometers, and 2.4 meters, which is not a lot. So I guess it, it's kind of like the, the stalks of wood. Now, this is interesting. This is a single row billet planter, of course, for sugarcane. Uh, this is interesting. So it's a single row. So sugarcane is going to be kind of grindy, it looks like. Here's a harvester. Now, it looks like this is probably some type of a tipper. That can hold 26,000 liters of sugarcane cultivators here. And another type of equipment we don't know. Then we have a bonus. This is another sprayer. It's interesting that they have two of these as well. I don't know if this is included. I think this is the making of FS17 and modding tutorial. So let me know what you think about this. Will you be purchasing this? I don't know if this is all the equipment. I'm guessing yes. 
I honestly thought there would be more. I don't think there's anything wrong with what's here. I love this one. This is really cool. This is interesting as well. Uh, we have a couple sprayers, which I think are nice, but I was expecting maybe a little bit more. It seems very sugarcane focused, but of course you can probably do the other crops as well. Well, thank you so much for joining me, guys and gals. What do you think in the comments down below? Don't forget to stay positive at all, as always, and most importantly, be hopeful.